G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews today. A bit of excitement on the bench. We're going to be comparing the Quantum 2203, oh sorry, 2204, 2300 kV motor, one I've been using a lot of in my mini quad builds, and it outperforms the um, Quantum Elite motor. It's, it's a nice little performer. We're going to compare that motor to the industry standard, which is the Cobra CM2204-2300. Now, I don't have any 1900 kV versions of this, I'm afraid. I was lucky to get these. So we're going to compare eggs with eggs, apples with apples. And so we're going to do the 2300 kV version of that with the 2300 kV version of that. I'm going to test it using the Gem Fan Prop, which is a pretty good load. It produces really good thrust. That's the Gem Fan 5x45 bullnose. And I'm going to compare it on three cells and four cells. And if I can find one, if I've got any left, I'll also use the DAL 5x45 bullnose and see how that compares. So let's get stuck in. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Have some fun on the bench. Okay, here we go. 5x4 bullnose. We've got three cells, got a reasonably charged battery, not fully charged. It's kind of representative of what we would be flying with if we'd already had a couple of minutes into the flight. And let's see what we get out of this baby. Quantum 2204-2300. Right, let's try the Cobra motor. Okay, here we are, we've got the Cobra 2204. We've got the battery recharged to about the same level. We've got the Gemfan 545 bullnose. Let's see what we get out of this. Okay, here we go. Four cells. Quantum 2204. 5x45 five bullnose prop. Let's just see what we get out of this. Notice the battery is not fully charged. I'm trying to get an indicative figure when you've burned a couple of minutes off your battery. Let's see what happens. And as before, that's the Cobra 2204 with the Gemfan 5.4 bullnose and four cells. Let's see if I can hold on to the damn thing. Well, there's the proof of what a lot of people already knew. The Cobra motors are quite significantly more powerful than many of the other 2204s. And that, that, uh, remember, the Quantum 2204 outperforms the Hobby King Elite Series 2204. So the fact that the Quantum, it's that the Cobra is so much more. I mean, we're getting about 700 grams of thrust on four cells versus, you know, under 600 grams from the Quantum. Um, and on three cells, we were looking at 500 grams of thrust versus 420. Now, the Cobra really seems to shine on a four-cell pack. Really, the difference is quite significant. We were 250 watts out of that little motor on four cells. And that wasn't a fully charged pack, so that's pretty damn impressive. You can see now why anyone who wants to race and win will run a Cobra motor. Now, of course, the Cobras are twice the price of something like the Quantum. So I still like to use the Quantums on my sport mini quads, especially for proximity, because it, I don't really want to have all that money tied up in motors when I'm very rarely using the full power. But if you're racing, well, Cobra is the way to go. So when I do the MXP230 top end build, mini quad build, um, of course, there'll be Cobra motors going on that. If I can find some more, of that's the like hen's teeth. All the good stuff still with mini quads can be hard to get. So I'm going to have to try and track down some Cobra 2204, 2300 motors. Of course, you can use 1900 motors. Uh, 1900 kV motors with four cells as well. I don't have any of those. I couldn't get any of those. I wish I could to test them out to see what the difference is. The 2300 kV should produce more because the, the same prop is going to load up a 2300 kV motor more than it loads up a 1900 kV. But we'll just have to try and see. The other motor, of course, I will be testing and I may use on the MXP230 build is the Sunny Sky 2207 2300k. Sorry, um, because I've got some of those here, so I might do another test. Now, I've also got the four cell tests of the props that I did before on three cells, and I'll use the Cobra. There's so much testing to do. I mean, it's, I'm trying not to put it all in one giant video because people will go to sleep, and that's a waste of time. So I'm doing these little ones, the Cobra versus the Quantum, the three cell 
prop performance versus four cell prop performance. But I mean, the, extra, the, the number of possible permutations are enormous. So if you've got a combination you'd like to see tested and compared to another combination, then please put it on the bottom of this video in the comments section. I'll do my best to accommodate you before the end of the month. So if you want to see a certain motor and prop combination tested against another motor and prop combination, let me know. I'll see if I can do that. Although time's running out and there are so many combinations. I might just have to choose the ones that most people would like to see. In the meantime, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, any comments, then please, you know, be feel, feel free to air them in the comment section. I will now get on. It's so much more to do. Gosh, it's getting late in the day. I've been here all day working my little backside off. And so it's um, goodbye from me. See you again soon. Okay, here we go. This is the Quantum with the 5x4, five 5 bull nose. And let's see what we get out of this baby. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's not doing a thing. What have I done wrong here?